Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechRacket.info and today I have a short video here on what to do if you want to make major changes to your computer and Windows 10. Um, I found out the hard way that there is a little bit of a process that you need to go through before you can change, for instance, your motherboard and your CPU. If you do this in the wrong order, your Windows will not be activated anymore and this mainly goes for, actually it pretty much just goes for Windows 7 and 8 that have been upgraded to Windows 10. So if you're in that boat and you want to upgrade your motherboard, you might want to pay attention here. So you have to do two things basically. Um, step one is make a, um, if you haven't already, during the installation of your Windows 10, you were asked to either log in with a Microsoft account or log in locally, like offline. Um, make sure you sign in with a Microsoft account. Now I don't remember if you have to go into accounts and set that up or do it at the, at the activation part. Um, but let's say it's under the account part. You go in here and then um, I'm currently signed in with a um, Microsoft account. So probably over here we'll say sign in with a Microsoft account. So make one if you don't have one. Sign in with that. It is important and it is going to lock this particular installation to this machine. So do keep that in mind. After you've done that and set it up, you go back. You head over to Update and Security. This is all the settings panel, by the way. You head over to the activation part, and over here you should see something like, um, I think you have the, the option here to log in with your uh, credentials, there should be a, a button here, and this is all p before you do your hardware change, keep that in mind, you have to do it before. Doing it after is a long process, tedious, annoying, and it involves calling Microsoft. So, what you have to do is basically you sign in with that account, that's step one. So make sure you sign in, and then it should say something like Windows is activated um, uh, with a Microsoft account or is linked to your Microsoft account or something like that. It should be set up here. Now, the next step, install the creators update. Again, do this before you switch up your hardware. Before the, crea or, yeah, before the creators update, there was no way to um, sort of unbind your Windows activation. Now, this is activation with a non-Windows 10 key, so if you upgrade from 7 and 8 um, to 10. Um, basically, your motherboard is sort of your Microsoft Windows 10 key, as it were. So if you change out your motherboard, then your key is kind of gone. It's a weird-ass system, but they fixed this in the Creators Update. So if you don't have the Creators Update, you must install that. After you've done all that, you, and again, you should see something like this has been activated or this has been linked up with your Microsoft account or something like that. Um, you should have that option somewhere. I can't show you because I've already done it and I'm past that point, but it should be in here. Once you've done that, you redo all your hardware, you go back in, you go back to uh, update and security, you go to activation, and you'll probably, you get one of two options here. For my second computer here, we um, set it up correctly and it pretty much instantly you just saw like unactivated, ploop, activated. It was just done instantly. Um, if that is not the case, you will have an option here to troubleshoot. Instead of change key, you'll all say troubleshoot. Click that and then in that you should have an option to log in with your Microsoft account and reactivate your Windows from the one that it knows from your account. So these are the steps you need to take in order to get your Windows 10 activated with new hardware. That's it. It's as simple as that. You just need to know what order you need to do stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.